Battery Calabot's customers are very often seeking the ability to market uh, chocolate products in warmer regions, for instance, Latin America, Asia, uh, Arabia. But very often those regions have a very hot climate, meaning that they take the risk that the products start to melt, uh, it deforms or it sticks to the packaging, and they do not want to take that risk. So we started up a program, it's called HOT, and we aim to increase the melting temperature of chocolate. We improve the melting point of chocolate with uh, 4 degrees. So a standard milk chocolate, for instance, has a melting point of 33 degrees. And we managed to increase this to 37, almost 38 degrees. For a dark chocolate, we uh, have an improvement of 3 degrees. So this increase in melting point, it also results in much better uh, resistance against higher temperatures. So the softening of the product and melting will go much slower. Uh, the deformation uh, is less of a risk and also the stickiness to packaging will be improved a lot. I have two samples. It's a reference and one of our prototypes. Uh, what we did is we placed them in a heating cabinet at 35 degrees for a couple of hours. And this is how they come out of that heating cabinet. So you see that the reference is completely melted. And the prototype still has its shape um, and it's not deformed at all. To illustrate the difference in uh, melting temperature or, or melting behavior, uh, between our reference and our optimized thermotolerant prototype, uh, we will do a small test. So I have two voluntary chocolate bunnies. These are hollow figures. And I will place them in front of an infrared lamp, like this. Then I turn it on, and uh, in time, the temperature will increase to, let's say, 50 to 60 degrees. So we will see what will happen in time.